It's a long time since we've been up a creek without a paddle, but this is what we're up to. So join us on a trip from Recife to Suriname. See how we get on. Cabanga Marina in Recife. Everybody has been ever so helpful and it's still quite high tide. Did you see that guy throwing his net in? I'm sure that's how they catch their dinner. And we go out this very narrow channel. And as I said, it's just about high tide. You wouldn't really want to do this at any less than this because this bay, this bay over here just dries out. Oh, trust us to come out at morning rush hour. Well, we've torn ourselves away from the two swimming pools, the splash pad, the jacuzzi, the sauna, sauna, why would you want a sauna? And here we are, 1,646 miles to go. Oh dear, dear, dear. This South Atlantic is seriously big. Over there, if you could see it, is the northeast corner of Brazil. Lovely morning. Quite a nice night, steady breeze. Long may it continue. Well, we've been making good time since we left Recife. And in the two days between then and now, Anne has got COVID. After two years of dodging all the bullets, last couple of days she got all feverish and has been comatose all last night, but making rapid improvement and pleased to take. Strange and excited about a big black bird, but it's the first sign of life, really. Day 344. What? What do you mean it's only day three? Oh my lord. Three, two, one, north. Woo! That's us, we've crossed the equator for the fourth time. We're now in the northern hemisphere. Wonderful. Well, I'm not good. Well, I've got COVID. <laughs> Great surfing weather, clear sky, nice breeze, catch a wave and then whee all the way down it. Fantastic fun. Top speed last night of 18.6 knots. Well, it's 6.30 in the morning, Saturday, and should let me sleep all night again. So I've slept from about one o'clock and that's wonderful. So my COVID's nearly gone and we're no longer sleeping in here. We can go and sleep in our beds because we've got proper trade wind sailing, nice and calm. Two knots of current, so we're breezing along. And this is where we live, out here, all made up. Very comfortable, shades on. This is the equator after all, we don't want to burn. And today's, this morning's job, apart from clearing up the poop from the deck from our little visitors again last night, three of them last night, big and grey, is putting up the code D before he goes to bed. That's it now. We'll be stuck with a sail up forever. Here we go again. Changing the blades. Mr. Letton and his knickers putting up the spinnaker. This could be a bit sweary. Well done. Well, there we go. This baby hasn't seen the light of day since. Ooh, going to Chagos, I think. Ooh, it's still looking pretty good. Not going fast enough to catch a tide, so... 
Code zero down, code D up. And that should give us an extra knot or so. Well, it's been a busy few days. We've run the gamut of sales. We've had spinnakers up, spinnakers down, code D, code zero, solent. Still, we're a day out at this speed. But we're sailing into a big hole, according to the grub. So, we'll see what happens next. Well, here we are. 50 miles out from Suriname and almost got 4 out of 4 but Namibia we arrived in daylight St Helena, Ascension, Recife and now here we arrive in the dark and the pilot book says don't go up the river in the dark there are steaks there uh, oh, I could do a steak right now steak and chips would be good so we're going to soldier on and see what we get. ETA is about 2 in the morning and the fishing fleet is already out parking up for the night ready to annoy us. Well we hung out at sea overnight in the dark dodging fishing boats. With hindsight we should have come in here but uh, we've passed already a few unlit or just Panga type fishing boats laying out nets and I'm pretty sure they were unmarked overnight so probably a good decision just to dodge around at half a knot or one knot until we could see what's going on and now we can we are approaching the Suriname River up the river for something like 30 miles Now what the heck is that? Mobile power plant, maybe? The pilot book says don't come in at night because of the stakes. And there they are. And I can see them on down the coast. So you'd never see these in the dark. So, good decision. Last, after 1,680 miles from Recife, we're stopped, bliss. But we still got a bit to go. We're at the mouth of the Suriname River, waiting to go uphill. Waiting the tide to turn, because right now there's no point in tackling this. <laughs> Look at the speed this the river's going at. With a bit of luck, that will give us a nice push on the way up. Our first local, Miss Natasha. You wouldn't want to hit them in the middle of the night. The fishing stakes, best avoided at night. The river that's over there are plantations, Dutch plantations. Dutch plantations for sugar and coffee and, and this is a fishing village. It's quite colourful. I've suddenly realised that we're in the Caribbean, really. Look at the mangrove swamps and the palms. Look at the coconuts. Quite different from Brazil. So the Dutch came here and reclaimed all this flat land. That looks as if they're rebuilding the dike there. And then every property has, like this, a sluice gate. And this has all been reclaimed. Just realised something, probably fairly obvious to you, but it's really green here. I mean, very, very green. So they must get a lot of rain, which is good because we won't be making water out of this disgusting river. So we'll be dependent on rain. And I suspect we might get quite a lot. Very fertile, very green. Crossing the river, big wreck in the middle of the river, and a big bridge. Now just look at that bridge. Guess what? We have to go under it. And this is the city. And just take you know, it has to sail, you know. It's a sailing boat, so we're sailing down the river. Oh, and there's the city. The 
spires of the church, the cathedral probably, and the mosque. Quite a lot of wrecks here, but there was a serious flood in 2006 where they lost something like 20,000 houses. And you can understand why, the land is totally flat. We are going to go under this bridge, container terminal. Not as big as I'd expected, but it's quite a big city and this is the terminal for the whole country. But they obviously are getting new cars delivered. Here we go. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. I usually shut my eyes now, but I better keep moping, keep talking. Oh God. Oh, honestly, honestly, that looks as if we were going to hit. There we are, through the bridge. And we continue up the river as my heart rate returns to normal. Chinese fishing fleet, goodness knows how many thousands of miles from home, raping the seas as usual. It must have quite a problem with build-up of silt here. Constantly dredging. And this is how they do it. Well, as we come up the Paramribo River, we're approaching our home for the next hmm, week, two weeks, who knows? Domberg Marina, little village. Apparently it's got shops, ATM. And the red boat in front of us is Red Max. And he's not there today, but he will be here shortly. And Stuart has the beer cooling in the fridge for him. Oh, very nice. Swimming pool. You know, when you sail into these places, you have no idea what to expect. And it's never what you expect. It's actually always nicer. We were met by Marina Crew in Hussifi. And here, we're going to be bet by Bath from Red Max. Isn't that nice? We last saw them in Cape Town. She's gone home. That's Red Max, up for sale, if you're interested. Beautiful boat. There's the jetty. Oh, the wee church. And the cafe. Oh, and another jetty. Oh, somebody living aboard. Oh, in fact, somebody's living aboard this one as well. Hmm, that's been there a while. And this is Henry's nine point something metre catamaran all the way from Walvis. Oh, he's got his red flag, yellow flag up. He's not cleared in either. That's interesting. And so that was it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And next trip is around Paramaribo and then we're going into French Guyana. Come and join us for a look. Again, thanks for watching. <laughs>